Okay, let's start with the grid in portion of the exam. Number 58, the figure below shows a circle with a hole in the middle. The outer diameter is an inch and a quarter. The inner diameter is a quarter inch. And what do they want to know? What is the area of the shaded region to the nearest hundredth of a square inch? Okay, so this is a calculate area geometry problem, particularly shaded area. I want to find the area of the outer shape, which a circle is going to be pi r squared. And be careful, that radius of the circles, not one and a quarter, that's our diameter. Diameter is twice the radius. So that the radius here, if that's five fours for the diameter, the radius is five eighths. So that's going to be pi times five eighths squared, which is 25 pi over eight squared is 64, 25 64 is pi. We want to subtract the inner area or the inner circle from that. Well, again, the diameter is a quarter, so that means the radius, which is what we want for our area calculation, equals one eighth. So here, pi r squared is going to be pi over eight squared, which is 64. So I subtract the outer area minus the inner area. That's going to be 25 minus one. 64 times pi, or 24 pi over 64, which reduces to 3 eighths pi. That's my answer. However, let's read the question again, just to check. They want it to the nearest hundredth. So this is grid in. I have to get this in decimal format, which means I have to multiply out pi, which I know is 3 point one four one five nine etc okay I need it to two decimal places nearest hundredth so I really should be careful I need to actually multiply out three decimal places and round to make sure I'm accurate to two decimal places so let's take a look at that that's going to be three times three point one four and I'll round the one five nine up to two so that gives me three, six, three is 12, carry the one, three times one is three, four, and three times three is nine. So this is and I need to divide that now by eight because it's three eighths pi. So now we need to do long division, eight to 9.426. So eight into nine, one times, that's eight giving us 1.426. Eight goes into one, not at all, but into 14 one more time. So that leaves us six, two, six. Uh, eight doesn't go in eight times. It goes in seven times into this, 56. So that leaves us 66 here. Eight goes into 66 eight more times. So 1.178. For rounding to a hundred, or round to the hundredths place, 1.18, and that's your correct answer. So usually in these problems, we keep pi as pi, but in this case for the grid in, we have to convert that pi to decimal, which is unfortunate because it takes some extra time to do that, kind of annoying, and particularly annoying in that we have to be careful to make sure we use an extra decimal place in our calculations to make sure we round out to the hundredths place correctly.